your break, huh? I don't know how much of that book you think you can read in 15 minutes. <laughs> it must be a really good book. Is it? It's okay. I'm reading a book now, too. It's called Eat or Be Eaten. I thought it was a cookbook when I bought it, but it's about surviving in a corporation. It's got a lot of tips in it, you know? Uh, public speaking, how to fire someone, <laughs> pressure points, you know, stuff like that. It's really interesting. I feel like I'm learning a lot about how to survive in a man's world. I could lend it to you if you want after you finish reading. What is that? Game of Thrones. <gasps> oh, the wizards and elves and things. Yeah. I could lend it to you if you're still working here. Although the book says specifically not to. He's like, don't help anybody, this is cutthroat. But <laughs> I don't think he means you. I mean, you're not a threat. I mean, it's not like you could do my job. <laughs> hmm. What is your job? Oh, you wouldn't understand, it's really complicated. Why did you ask me that? The book warns about conversations like this. Don't stick your nose into places where it doesn't belong. I can make sure that you're not here tomorrow. Is that what you want? Um, the book says threats are only helpful if you're willing to carry them out. I need the money. Mm -hmm. It's good that we can talk about things like this, Annette. I feel like we've come to a good understanding. That's some sample dialogue from the appendix. It says to use the name of the person you're talking to frequently, Annette, while you're talking to them, Annette. Oh, my break is over. Mm-hmm. Watch yourself. J'ai un amour compulsif. C'est la seule chose que je sais. J'ai un amour compulsif, c'est les seules choses que je sais.